How's it going guys? It's me Simon. In this video I'm going to show you how to duplicate swords and bows in Zelda Breath of the Wild. So let's begin. What you will need is 5-7 to seven multi shot bows, an elemental weapon and some shock arrows. We can perform a method known as menu overloading. To do this we're going to equip ourselves with a multi shot bow and some shock arrows. And then press R with Link so he holds it in front of him and then drop that bow. We're going to repeat this process 5-7 to seven times and this should overload the menu. You know that the menu is overloaded when Link's model on the right hand side does not fully load. So let's go through this again, equip ourselves with the bow and shock arrows, press R so Link holds it in front of him and then drop it. As you can see Link is just ahead on mine so he's not fully loaded and we can now perform the duplication glitch. So let's duplicate a sword first but in this case the ancient battle axe plus plus equip that. Close the menu and press B to bring out your ancient battle axe. Just like this. And now we're going to go back to our menus, go over to bows, make sure you equip shock arrows with a multi shot bow, bring it out with R, go back, and then now we're going to go back to our weapons, and now we're going to choose a different weapon, the Royal Broadsword. So we've equipped that. Now press B. As you can see that it shows the ancient battle axe even though we've equipped the royal broadsword. So now go off the menu and then press the R button to throw your sword. And now if we go over and pick it up it should duplicate. So now we've got two ancient battle axes plus plus and that's how you duplicate. Let's go through this one more time. Okay so select the weapon you want to duplicate. So ancient battle axe plus plus. Go over to our bow, remove, re-equip with the shock arrow, bring it out with R, just like that. Go back to the menu and now choose a different sword, Royal Broadsword, equip and then press B. As you can see Ancient Battle Axe plus plus is what we're holding but it says we've equipped the Royal Broadsword so we've glitched. So now throw the weapon go pick up the weapon and now we've duplicated another ancient battle axe plus plus. So that's how you duplicate swords and axes let's move on to bows. We're going to use the same menu overloading technique dropping five to seven multi-shot bows until Link is glitched. And then choose the bow you want to duplicate. Press R so he's holding it in front of him. Go back to the menu. We're going to pick an elemental weapon now. Remove it and re-equip. Go back to the bows, select a different bow and now we're going to put the Lionel bow onto the wall and then pick it up again and that's duplicated the bow. So let's go through this one more time. Choose the bow you want to duplicate. Press start, press R so he's holding it in front of him. Go back to the menu, choose the weapon, remove, re-equip, go back to the bows, choose a different bow. There you go and then put the bow that we want to duplicate onto the wall, pick it up. So that's how you duplicate swords and bows in Breath of the Wild. So let's look at some locations where you can get some of these items to help you start duplicating straight away. Head to the bottom of the Colosseum Ruins, there's a Lionel. If you can take him out, he's got Flame Blade, Multi-Shot Bow and some Shock Arrows. Three of the things we're going to need. Boom. Even a Star Fragment. Okay, another location is the Yinga Clan hideout. If you take out the Yinga Clan members, they got duplex bows which shoot two arrows, so they count as multi shot bows. So, guys, consider subscribing for more content like this, or check out some of my other videos to help support my channel. I'm Simon from LOG, Level 1 Gamer. Until next time, peace out.